Oh, babe, I'm ready. Let's go. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not. I don't like what you're wearing. Go wear something else. And what is wrong with what I'm wearing? I just said I don't like it. That's what's wrong with it. I don't like it. But I like it. <sighs> Go wear one of the designer dresses I got you last week, okay? But babe, I told you I don't feel comfortable wearing those. I like this one. Since when did come from mass over fashion? Huh? I thought the more uncomfortable the outfit, the more fashionable it was for ladies of this generation. So I... Anyways, you thought wrong, okay? Come on, let's go. No, you're not coming anywhere with me dressed like that. It's not happening. <sighs> Kelvin, do you know how long it would take me to change into another outfit, look for matching earrings, shoes, bags, hair, makeup, and all that? It would take time. That's a great point, which is why you should go get ready instead of arguing with me, okay? <sighs> you have five minutes, okay? Get ready in five minutes. Oh, look, look, look. The fact that you invited me to this party does not give you the right not to allow me to say what I want to wear or look the way I want to look. Four minutes, 39 seconds, I'll be in the car, okay? Get ready. You're being serious right now. Yeah, very serious. You barged in like this. What is it? You forgot something. Can you imagine Kelvin asked me to go change? He doesn't like what you're wearing. He said he doesn't like it. I should go wear one of those uncomfortable clothes he bought for me last week. <laughs> go and wear one of the dresses now. Eh? Mom, I'm surprised you're supporting him. He must have bought you those dresses because he wanted you to wear one of them when you're going for the party today. And you not wearing them, you will look like a rude ingrate. Hello? Emanuela, my love. The beauty queen herself. The one who lights up my day. How are you? I'm very well. Fine. Uh -uh. Baby, you don't sound fine at all. Though. What or who is it that made you angry? How can you tell so easily I'm not fine? Uh -uh, come on now. Huh? You know I know you too well. How are you, Tochi? Well, I'm just there. Uh, I was just on my own and then the thought of you crept into my mind. So I thought I should call you quickly and check up on you. And also to remind you of how very hard I am working. So I can make money to make you mine financially, traditionally, and officially. <sighs> That's so sweet of you. Aww. You know what, baby? Um, Honestly speaking, I, I don't know how long it's going to take. I truly don't know, only God knows, but I am very sure that by the grace of God, everything is going to be fine. I know. So how did the interview went for some days ago go? How did it go? Uh, they said they were going to get back to me. So I'm just um, staying optimistic. That's the spirit, Jay. Keep hope alive and everything will be fine. <sighs> Please, sir. Eh? I just need a little favor. Keep praying for me as much as I used to pray for you, okay? I will, sure, you know I would. All right, my love, I have to get back to work. Please send my regards to your mom, okay? Sure, yeah. Somebody is waiting for me Bye. downstairs now. Eh? Mom, please.
Where are you? Uh, I'm on my way to a very, very important party. But you asked me to go change. Yeah, I also told you you had five minutes, okay? And after I waited five minutes, can you imagine? I waited an extra 20 seconds for you, okay? And you didn't come out, so I had to drive out. And you're just calling me now? That means you're just calling... It took you 20 minutes to get ready? Are you serious? Okay, can you just turn around and come pick me now? No, I can't turn the car around. I've driven way too far. And even if I was still outside, I'd probably drive off, okay? <sighs> Okay, so how am I supposed to find my way to the party? Young lady, you're supposed to go back inside and forget about the party. No party for you tonight, okay? What you do is think of how to make it up to me and apologize for such unruly unruliness. I mean, you wasted my time, seriously. All right, take care. Bye. Are you... Is this guy being serious? What? What kind of a human being is this? Mama, are there? Ah, uh, hello. Good evening. Uh, sorry, man. Don't be say I don't forget to. I don't forget you at all, eh? I go clear your money next week. I swear to God. <laughs> Thank you, man. Eh? Good evening. Take care. Let me go out, go hustle. You wait the house if you sweat the pants. <clears throat> no, no, go no, no. I'm tired. I need to go in and rest. My guy, see, uh, you're supposed to leave for this bench. You know? Just give me two hours and I'll be done. Guy, this thing no day fair now. Guy, I know they fair down. now. Why they do like this now? Who go? What's going on? I don't get a lot. Go on, do we? A lot hey! from you. As I don't get a lot from, from who, mom? Ah, Kelvin just sent me 100,000 naira. Hey! Hmm. Why Ooh. would he do that? Ha. You have to thank him for me very well. I will do no such thing, mom. I won't. Piamwa, what is wrong with you? Hey? What is it? I have not spoken to him since Saturday. He made me dress up twice for nothing. Bia, you mean you have not reached out to him to apologize since then? Apologize to him? Mom, what did I do to him? He owes me an apology. I did nothing. Hey, but he has just apologized and you have to accept it. How? When? When did he apologize? The money he sent to me is strategic apology. Oh, Mom, I don't want strategic apology. I want a verbal one. What is wrong with this girl? You have to understand that the men of these days will not apologize to you verbally. Eh? Whenever there is a misunderstanding. Mama, why do you always like taking sides with Kelvin? Why do you like supporting him? Kelvin is a huge source of support to us. Look at you. You do not have a job. 
I have not had any source of income ever since your father passed. How do you think we would have survived all this while, if not for Kelvin? Well, it doesn't mean he owns me. It doesn't mean I can't make my own decisions. But that's, that's not how it's done, Mom. Ella, he loves you. That is why he will send me money, even when both of you are not in talking terms. Men and their ego are like five and six. You cannot take it away from them. Hmm? Mom, please. Pick up your phone and call that young man. I've told you. Hey! Go. What kind of gift, nice gift that if I buy it for my girlfriend, she would really appreciate it? Go. Go, Chief. Come on, simple now. Yeah. Just buy and better iPhone. My iPhone is just the real latest iPhone. You will not come on street. Eh? See, up in the same street to Dubai. That if you even buy a house or a car. I beg, shut up, Joe. Are you trying to mock me? I'm just answering the question now. How can I afford all these things you talked about with just 1,500 naira budget? What do you explain that way to me now? Okay, tell me. What's in your budget? Look, bro. The truth is, ever since I moved into Lagos, I've not been able to buy Ella any gift. I don't want her to start thinking that I don't love her anymore. If I have to wait till I make millions to buy her a gift. Hmm. Yeah, if I were advising, I would advise you to use that money, that 1,005, to buy Gary and Beans. Who is at this stock house? Penny Penny will receive the next income. Ugo, why are you like this? Why are you being so insensitive? You're the one being insensitive here. Yeah. Why would you be thinking of buying a gift for a lady? Who are your guys? You see me so good now. I'm the big ordinary guy. You think of buying a gift for a lady? See, yeah, Ugo. <clears throat> the thing is, Ella is my childhood sweetheart. And bro, I really love her. I love her so much. I can't just wait till I make enough money to give her the kind of life she deserves. Well done. It's the lover man. See, the only thing you can buy now with that money is just to buy a card for her. At least I know women appreciate that a lot. Co card. Ah. Uh... I'm coming. Hi. Hello. My mom said you sent her money for upkeep. Yes, I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so, how was your party on Saturday? Oh my, it was great. It was so awesome. I was so disappointed you couldn't make it because it was so much fun. I couldn't make it or you didn't take me. You asked me to go change and you left. Yeah, you deliberately wasted a lot of time just to undermine my authority. So, it had to happen. I told you changing into another outfit would take time. Well, at least now you know, okay, for next time. What's with the smile? Nothing, just um, a message from a friend. You see, this is how you disrespect me and you expect me to just to, just, to ignore it. What's that about? Huh? What are you talking about? We're having a serious conversation and you abandoned that because a, a friend sent you a message. What's the, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. I'm sorry. You should be. A bag of sorry. <sighs> Go 
hope you locked the front door. Did you? I did. <clears throat> Doki, I wish she called. At least to acknowledge the card you put on. She hasn't called yet. Uh, maybe she's busy. I'll just call her myself. <clears throat> but you know now, she may not want to call. At least to acknowledge the card you put on. Uh, uh, why do you talk like this now? I don't expect her to call me with the card I bought for her as a gift. I'll call her, don't worry. Ah, uh, no, no, too cheap. Eh? See, you like playing like a lover boy, here. Yeah? Eh? And this is a disadvantage of having just one girlfriend because you end up loving like an idiot. Ah, uh, open are you, oh my boy? <laughs> is she not picking? No. <laughs> I hope you're not deceiving yourself with that girl. <laughs> <laughs> The girl you claim to be your girlfriend, she now for one day come and come check where you to stay. You want to come no to Listen, she's a very busy person. She's busy. <laughs> also, look, no one is too busy for the one they truly love. Busy. Busy. <sighs> busy yourself. So, a friend of mine who owns a hair store wants me to come work as a sales representative for her. The pay is not much, but it's 50000 but it's better than doing nothing. Uh, so you want to work as a sales girl for your friend? Sales representative. Babe, don't fool yourself, okay? It's a one-woman business, okay? And with that pay, it's definitely sales girl. That's for sure. Anyways, I... I've accepted the offer and I'm starting work on Monday. Uh, no you won't. Why not? First of all, I feel insulted, okay, that you would accept such a, a demeaning offer. I mean, you're my girl, okay? It doesn't look good on me. But I forgive you. I mean, I'm a reasonable guy. I can be too nice sometimes. Look, I'm tired of staying home, doing nothing and rely on you for every cobble. <sighs> Am I complaining? Babe, I'm not complaining, okay? This is what's going to happen. You call your friend, tell her you're not interested in the job anymore. That's that. I'll increase your monthly allowance, okay? Problem solved. You kind of look nice today. Yeah, some certain glow. Got one glass. Give me a glass of juice, babe, I'm thirsty. You didn't, babe? Babe? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you could, you had like AirPods on or something. I said, get me a glass of juice, I'm thirsty. Is it traffic? There was no traffic. Huh. Huh. Don't tell me you have had another quarrel with Kelvin. Um, that's not it. I told him about the sales rep job I got and he said I wasn't going to do it, that his girlfriend would not do a job like that. Mm -hmm. That is because he wants something better for you. 
He also said he was going to increase my monthly allowance. All these things that you have told me, they are all good news. I am yet to hear why you are this unhappy. Oh, I don't know. I, I feel trapped with Kelvin. He joins me emotionally and, 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 and mentally. It's, it's frustrating. Ella, what are you talking about? That guy has done too much for us. For all this emotional, jargon, mental nonsense that you are saying. There is no relationship or marriage that does not have its ups and downs. As far as I am concerned, Kelvin really loves you. I guess you're right. Of course I am right. Your dinner is in the kitchen. I'm not hungry, Mom. Please. You may take it easy now. Hello, Tochi. I'm sorry I should have called you back. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's okay. I know you must be very busy. I got the airtime you sent. We shouldn't have. Oh, come on. I actually went to send a call card of 1,500 Naira. But when I went to buy the recharge card, the recharge card seller reminded me that I owe 500 Naira. So I had to pay that debt from the money. It's okay. Thank you very much. It's okay, you're welcome, my love. Um, baby, when are you going to be free to come and visit me? Oh, that's true. I haven't visited since you moved from Enugu to Lagos. Mm-hmm. And I'll be the happiest person in the world if we can change that. It will go a long way to make my friend who I squat with know that you are real and that I'm not in love with some ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make plans and let you know, okay? All right. You know what, Ella? Believe me when I say this. I promise you that I would give you the best things that money can buy. You just give me a little time, okay? Just bear with me. It's okay, Tochi. Don't worry. Fortune will smile on you very soon. Amen. Amen. Thank you, darling. So you have a good night. Good night, Tochi. Bye. <laughs> Ah. Uh -huh. dear. Is it done? Almost. I have been thinking. You know this one that um, Kelvin said he doesn't want you to work? Maybe you should ask him to give you some money so you can start up a business. Well, I'm not interested in starting a business or asking Kelvin money for it. Why not? Everyone is not cut out to be an entrepreneur. Besides, I don't want to put myself in a situation like that with him. What situation, Ella? Oh, he's doing too much already. He is not doing too much. In fact, he cannot do too much. Eh? Considering the fact that this man is about to marry you. I strongly doubt that. I don't see a future with Kelvin. Have you started? Ella Ibidogo, have you started with this your rubbish talk? Mom, you want to understand.
You gotta be kidding. What's wrong with this girl? Huh? Pick up your phone. There's nothing to understand. There is absolutely nothing to understand here. Mom, I need a man like Tochi. That's the kind of man I want. Yeah? Which Tochi are we talking about? The here? only Tochi you know. Tochi? tochi. Yes. Oh my God. I thought you left this, your childish fantasies way back in Enugu. Before we moved over here. Mom, he has everything I want in a man. Except money. That money is extremely important. I wish it wasn't. Hello? Good afternoon, ma'am. I've been trying to reach Ella, but she's not picking up her phone. Uh, she's right here in front of me. Hold on. Kelvin. Hello? What's wrong with you, huh? I've been calling your phone. I'm in the kitchen. I, I left my phone in the bedroom. It's called a mobile freaking phone for a reason. It's mobile. You can carry it along with you. Why would you leave it in the bedroom for so long, huh? When you're with me, that phone is always distracting you. But now, to pick up my phone calls is, is, is rocket science, right? Can you just tell me the reason you're calling me and stop ranting? Oh, so I'm ranting now. I'm ranting, huh? Yes, you are. You know what? Get off my phone. Get off my phone! Yeah. Is everything okay? Ah. Ella! Hello? Ah, what is wrong? Ella! Every day that this guy will be camping someone's daughter inside this house. Good afternoon. How are you doing now? I did. This is how you come back with you. What's My brother, the interview didn't go well at all. Though. It was as if the whole population of Lagos came to apply for the same job. Yeah. I'm so sorry for that, man. What is I in the room with me? They won't see me even at the go house. Just around the corner. So how's this with you? Where am I supposed to go now? Yeah, sure, bro. Um, I can visit to inside you. So I will just see me just the outside here for the minute. Ugo, is this visitor one of the girls that came last week or this is a new victim? No, wait, Natochi. You, you for the shout out now. So I'll get with the inside down. They're going to see I carry other girls come inside last week. Wait. I don't understand you again, Ugo. What do you mean by one of those victims? Victim of what? Victim of your promiscuity and your iniquity. Mm-hmm. When I used to be that one, this is a grammar you speak, is I never can understand you again. You see, bless you, just give me three hours and I'll be done. I don't want to be your victim and prescription. Baba, yeah. Hello? 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 Tochipo. Guy, wake up now, Tochipo. Uh -uh. Why should I sleep with a sleep like this? Go on for now. Like this. So your guest has gone. Please, now I can't. Ah, sorry. Guy, wait now. Wait. Uh -uh. Why you blow the rush? See, there's a change in plan, man. The reason why I brought these sleeping materials for you. Sorry, I don't understand. Mom, the babe said she'll be passing the night. You know now. 
there will be too much inconvenience <sighs> and you know that is why and it's not possible for three of us to sleep in the same room so you get so go away now you just manage to sleep out when you are there why why do you want me to sleep outside like, like a dog my guy why are you being unreasonable just one night it's a, it's just if mommy i'll do the same for you take care have a good night brother <clears throat> Wait, wait. Is it because of that small inconvenience that is making this kid's office all around the place for me having? Did I hear you say small? Did I hear you say small in inconvenience? You made me sleep outside the Gochuku. Look at my body. See. See. See my neck. Mosquito bites everywhere. Mosquito has even drained half of my blood. Yeah, so yeah. But the cover cloth I give you, why you why no coins and take over your No, body? not for this kind of mosquitoes though. These ones are skilled professionals. They even come out to the cover cloth come off from my body. Yeah. Sorry for that, man. Sorry, man. I just hope I won't fall sick and have malaria before Friday when Ella will be coming to visit me. Ah, wait, Tochi. Wait, wait. You, wait. you mean you have a mission this Friday? Bad guy! Ah! I, now you my G. So it means I'll be the one to sleep out this, this Friday evening. Nothing like that is going to happen. Ella is not sleeping over. She's just coming to say hi. But listen now, it's not country, but they good, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> so you shall think so everybody be like you, Abby. Look, Ella and I, we have decided that we are not going to have any physical intimacy until after our wedding. What? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they laugh now? What's really funny? Good morning, Mom. My dear, <laughs> Kelvin decided to put a smile on my face again this morning. What are you talking about? He sent you money again. Hmm, 100,000 Naira. Only <sighs> God can bless that boy for me. No, 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 Mom. This is not right. This is draining. What is? He's been harassing me all morning with texts and messages. How can he be sending you money and pissing me off at the same time? This is becoming a pattern. Calm down now. Calm down. He does this all the time. Whenever he messes up, instead of him to apologize and make amends, he sends you money. Sending money might be his own way of apologizing. You should know that by now. I know what to do. Hey. 
they come down. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Hey, look who's here. Uh, look, Calvin, we need to talk. Babe, before you say anything, okay, yesterday was a horrible day business-wise. It was horrible for Forex trading. The market was all messed up. And as if that wasn't enough, the guy that manages my fleet of sand trucks, he made away with four million naira. I'm so sorry about that. I mean, I was calling you yesterday because I needed some comfort and honestly. You should have just said that instead of taking out the frustration on me. It's okay. Come in. You're here now, so that's on my side. Thanks for the money you gave to my mom. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> so what do you plan to do about the guy that absconded with your money? Well, I'm actually more concerned about getting a reliable replacement than I am about finding the thief. I mean, these guys, you can't trust them. You cannot trust them at all. It's unfortunate. Okay. Oh. Oh, so yeah, Ella, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'll be expecting you. No, 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 I'm not far away. Yeah, I just went for an interview that extended longer than planned. Yeah, I'll meet you at home. All right. <sighs> My baby is coming to see me. No, 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 not today again. Ugo! Get off on now. Is that lady inside again? Wait. Wait. But the dog that is coming in today, she's on her way. Uh -uh. I thought you told me next week, uh, Friday now. I told you today, Friday today. Uh -uh. Oh, no verse, no verse. I beg, no verse. Just give me 45 minutes, I'll be done. I beg, go hurry up, Jerry, hurry up. I think I'll beg you, hurry up. His time to design every part of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you don't want us to go inside? Uh, my my friend's girlfriend is around, oh. and they are very busy in there. Oh, okay, it's fine. We can just chill here then. I've missed you. you have no idea. How much Look, I've I didn't missed. know how much I've missed you till now. Uh, are I've you missed... sure? Yes. Because I missed you more. <laughs> And through this, so I bought you a pack of juice, mm. which I kept inside before I left for my interview. Oh. I didn't want to risk going out there and spending all the money that I have without getting you refreshment. Right? You're still as thoughtful as ever. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but the thing is this, uh, the, the juice is not really cold. Though. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. Get it like that. As long as it's from you. No you sure? Problem. Yes, even if it's hot, I'll drink it. <laughs> Go get it. Look at you. <laughs> I missed you. The most beautiful. <laughs> Let me rush inside and get to it. I'm waiting. Go. She's here. So quick. She fly. See, here. just help me go inside there. Eh? I put a, a pack of juice beside the bed this morning. Can you help me bring it? I'm just to entertain her. No, that juice on I don't drink them. Don't drink them. What do you mean by that? It's supposed to be now. I play with the play inside. No, we can already fry. We lost energy now. Now we just say more and take it. You bring that juice for me. What was 
the meaning of this now? Hi! Um... My friend used the pack of juice to entertain his girlfriend. I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. It's not okay, because I'm going to break his head. Because of juice, so cheap. Please, it's okay. Don't worry, I'm fine. You know what, let me just go to the next compound and get I'm you some drink. okay. Don't worry. Are you let's, sure? Yes, let's talk about us. How have you been? How has Lagos been treating you? How have you been coping? My dear, hmm? Lagos is not easy at all. I know. <sighs> but... The thought of having you all the time, every day of my life, that Aww. makes me feel better. That things are definitely going to get better. Of course they will get better. So you said you went for an interview today. How did that go? <sighs> they said my BSc is not enough. That they want someone who has masters. Um... Can, can you manage a, a fleet of sand trucks? Sand trucks? I know a guy that owns a um, fleet of trucks and he uses them to supply sands to uh, construction sites and stuff like that. So his truck manager has sconded with some money. So he needs a replacement for that position. Of course, I can do it. I can. My managerial skill is top notch as long as they tell me what is expected of me. Besides that, I'm a fast learner and a team player. I'm not promising anything, but I will throw in some good words for you to the owner of the truck. Hi. Hello, Bim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyang Diapozo. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much, eh? Welcome. Thank you. Hi. My beautiful I've queen. I've missed you. I've missed you more. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. I'm sure you believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What was that you said? I want to talk to Kelvin to employ Tochi. Are you out of your mind? Um, Tochi is a good man. He's the only man I can call a soulmate. Who do you plan on telling Kelvin that Tochi is to you? My cousin. Are you planning on telling Tochi the truth? Of course not. I just tell him Kelvin is mine. He's an admirer. Ella, this is not a good plan. My mom, Tochi needs help. And I will not forgive myself that I couldn't help him. I don't care if Tochi gets to know the truth about Kelvin. But you know Kelvin has a huge ego. And all hell will let loose if he finds out that Tochi is your childhood sweetheart. Tochi deserves to be in a better position in life. He's been a good man all his life. Life hasn't been fair to him. Mm. The life has never been fair to anybody. We all have our crosses to bear. Ella, do not allow a drowning man pull you down with him in the process of you trying to save him. Mom, my mind is made up. I'm going to help him. Mm. Okay. One. Jackie Bata, I'll be here waiting for you. Join us soon. Okay. You know, he's into Forex um, trading as well. So he's doing some Forex business online. Okay. 
Don't forget the plan, okay? You are my cousin. That's the only way he'll be willing to hire you. I understand. And again, like I told you earlier, Kelvin and I are just friends. He's just an admirer, okay? So don't let it get to your head if he acts like we're in a relationship. It's nothing, it's just all in his head. Ella, I perfectly get it. He will be here soon. I am. Hey, oh, ah. you want to be um, Tochi? Tochi, yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. That's it. Mm. Thank ah. you, sir. All right, so I'll get straight to the point. Um, your job is simple if you know what you're doing. Okay? I have 20 sand trucks you'll be in charge of. Okay? Meaning the drivers will report to you and you report to me. Okay, sir. You'll be in charge of maintenance. Okay? You make sure that the trucks are in top working condition. Okay, sir. All right. I'll link you up with the um, head driver. who will let you know all the other stuff you need to know. Sir, I promise you that you would not be disappointed. You can be rest assured that your trucks are in good hands. That's good to know. Good to know. Okay? You collect my number from your beautiful cousin here <laughs> and give me a call tomorrow. You start work on Monday. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, well, your salary is 200,000 naira. Okay, I have to get back to work. Hello? Yeah, no, no, no. Thank you, sir. Yeah. No, no, I'm just my laptop. Did you just hear? Yeah. He gave me the job and the salary is 200,000 naira. I told you. Oh, God. I told you. Ella, how will I ever be able to thank you? Oh, okay, Tochi. Just stick to the plan and we are fine. Okay? Congratulations. Thank you. Come in, Don't tell me that, Augustina. Is it how someone needs to get pregnant? Are you a baby that doesn't know her cycle and her safe period? What do you mean your father wants to see me? I don't want to see your father. Get that from my phone, Joe. <laughs> Is someone fighting with you? Don't mind all these girls of nowadays. They don't have sense. How someone be pregnant for someone like me? Don't look as if I'm ready to become a father. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say someone is pregnant for you? Oh, it's too actually. Hey. And now, the one that even called me yesterday, she also told me that she's pregnant for me. And this one is even calling me now. It's like they're planning to ruin my life. But this is what you planned for yourself now. What were you expecting when you were camping different girls inside this room? Well, now, you know now, getting pregnant wasn't part of the idea. Hmm. And now, the both of them are planning to move in. Move in where? Here yeah, now. Hmm. One even called yesterday to tell me that her grandfather is a native doctor. That if I refuse her to move in with me, that she will take my picture to her grandfather. <gasps> so, what are we going to do now? Worst case scenario. We go move in here now. At least we all will suffer since they don't get sense. Move in where? Yo, you, you think I'm now? How, how can two, two pregnant women move into this small space with us? Yeah, Tochiku, you go move out with that. Move out to where? Ah, uh -uh. we go think I'm now. You know, I don't know anybody here in Lagos, and I just got a job. Brother, you need to go back to Enugu. And then there you come from. Let's go back to Enugu. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said? I said I just got a job. How would I be living in Enugu and working in Lagos? What do you want me to do now? Eh? I cannot camp you and the two pregnant women in my house. Hey. Oh. It's not possible now. I brother, you said take her. I beg, you just need to go back. Eh? Go back to your village. At least, and your own town. You just need to go back. You can't do your funny inconvenience now, my You just need to go back. Wow. So, why would they impregnate two women at the same time? Serious, so this this is not good at all. Just when I was all excited, I'll be able to save up money for my new job and get a place of my own in a few months. 
so is there anyone you could move in with somewhere you could manage to save up some money no i don't but two things are certain in this situation i can't stay in that house anymore and i'm not going back to Inigo because i can't afford to lose my new job so what do we do about this accommodation problem now what's the solution to it what's your plan well the worst case scenario i'll just move into one of these abandoned uncompleted buildings in my neighborhood <laughs> Tochi, please, please don't even, don't say that. It's not that serious. I'm serious, Ella. I'm not going to let my village people win by making me lose this new job. Mom, there's something I want to discuss with you. Okay, go ahead. But I need you to listen to me and see reasons with me. Okay. Kelvin has agreed to employ Tochi and he starts work on Monday. Hmm. I hope this does not backfire. I hope so too. But there is one more thing I need to do for Tochi. What is that? He's having an accommodation problem. And he needs to remain in Lagos because of his new job. So I I want him to move in with us. At least he can manage the other room. Mom, it's just for a few months. So he can save some money and get his own place. Please. Ella. Yes? Get out of this room. Am I acting to get out? of this room right now. Mommy, just try. Did you hear me? Mom, I said you should try and... <laughs> I should allow you bring in... It's not your fault. It's because your father is not here. Can you imagine? Ella. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you have slept over that nonsense you were telling me yesterday and that you have seen how stupid that idea is. Mom, you have refused to see things from my own perspective. What stupid perspective? Was it because I allowed you to go through the plan of telling Kelvin to give Tochi a job? You allowed me? Yes. It wasn't your decision to make. Really? Yes. Kelvin pays for this house. So technically, this is my house too. I only ask for your opinion out of courtesy on certain things. Ella. It is not right to allow a man to move in with you. Mom, it's just for a few months. That still does not make it right. Mom. I see myself spending the rest of my life with Tochi, so why it's only logical for me to do everything within my power to build him. Chai. Ella. <laughs> you see this wall of lies you're building? The day it will come crumbling down on all of us. Mano here. Nikili. No, nothing will happen. See, Kelvin already knows Tochi as my cousin. So it only makes more sense if he moves in with us. I mean, why would he move in here if he's not family? I have said my own. I will be here watching. I will be fine. Don't worry. I got this. Trust me. I got this. She's ready. Yay! Food. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. I think you were supposed to put it the other way. Yeah. Actually, but. 
My bad. That's what you made? Yeah. I asked you and you said it's okay. I did? Yes, you did. You were working on your laptop upstairs when I asked. Yeah. Probably uh, distracted with what I was doing. Okay, take this away. All right? I like a pound of yam, uh, vegetable soup with uh, beef, stockfish, and a bit of snail. Yeah, that'll do. Babe, pounded yam, vegetable, snail, and all that would take time to make because I need to go to the market to get the things needed to make it. Go to the market then. <laughs> Come on, babe. Please, can you just manage this jollof rice? Please? No, 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 I can't, okay? That is not happening. Hey, like, I'm tired. <laughs> From doing what exactly? Fixing your lunch. Oh. Okay, I promise I'll tend to your pounded yam and vegetable soup tomorrow. No, you'll tend to it today, okay? Right now. Oh, I can't. You see, that's the issue with you. You turn every single instruction into a debate. Huh? Why do you have to question my authority all the time? I'm not a robot. I am the man of this relationship. Do not question my authority. Everything has to be a debate. I do not understand your mentality. I do not understand it. This is ridiculous. Everything has to be an argument. Huh? Like I don't want to fight for everything. Go to food. Get to food. Huh? Yes? Hey. Ah, Mama, good afternoon. Tochi, you're here. Hey. Welcome. Hi. It's good to have you. Let me help you. Bella, are you sure this is a good idea? Um, it's not, but it's not a bad one either. Okay. Well, if it's not a good idea, it's definitely a bad one. There is good, there is bad, then there's reality. This right here is reality, okay? Your mom is obviously angry with me. Ignore her, she'll come around with time. I already told Kelvin you were moving in with us, so you could work from here and more effectively. Ella, how can I ever be able to thank you enough? It's okay. Come, let me show you the room. Come. I'm glad I could help. Hey, are you sleeping already? Yeah, I am. What's up? Get ready, okay? We're going out. At this time of the night, where are we going to? I feel like having fun and I want you to come with me. Can I take a rain check, please? Don't be a wet blanket. I was already asleep and besides it's midweek. Yeah, it's not like you have to wake up early to go to any job, right? So, uh, get ready. What did you just say? I'm 10 minutes away from your place, okay? Get ready, I'll soon be there. <sighs> and if I insist that all will go out, he'll just start ranting and making trouble as usual. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mama, I've looked for Ella everywhere, but she seems to be nowhere here. Did she go out early? Yes, she did. Where did she go to? None of your business. All right. 
I'll be off to work now. None of my business. <sighs> Look, Mama, I know you do not want me to be here. Trust me, I do not want to be here either. But life happens and I seem not to have much of a choice right now. I'm sorry for whatever inconvenience my being here has caused you. But I promise you that I would move out of this house as soon as I'm able to put funds together to get my own place. And I hope that happens very, very soon. Ha uh ha! -uh. I hope so too. Have a good day, ma. What kind of thing is this? Good morning, sir. Hello, team. Sir, How are you? I'm good, sir. Sir, I brought a detailed report of the trucks needing servicing and repairs, as okay. requested. Yeah. Uh, I hope you. Uh, no, 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 no. I hope you. Okay. You double checked and uh, verified these claims as well. Yes, I did. Because you can't trust these drivers and maintenance people. You cannot take their word for it. They're thieves, I tell you. Mm -hmm. I brought the engineer from the servicing company to confirm everything. I also struck off the unnecessary things on the list submitted by the drivers as advised by the engineer. Good, good. All right. Take this to our counsel. We should sort you out. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. There you go. Thank you, sir. I should be on my way out now, sir. You should. Go good day, sir. some money. <laughs> All right, sir. Bye. Oh, hey. Your cousin is here. You should say hi. My cousin? Yeah, Ella, my babe. Your cousin. Oh, Ella. Yeah, Ella. Ella. Yes. Where are you? Tochi says hi. Oh. Hi, Tochi. <sighs> hi, Ella. Look at her. So beautiful. You know, I missed her so much yesterday. I hit her up. I'm like, we need to go for a fun night out, right? So I pulled up to her place, picked her up. She looked exquisite, right? And went out. When we were done, it was too late to take her back home, you know, with her mother and all living there. So we came over here and, uh, yeah, we had some fun. <laughs> so she passed the night here. Yes, yes. Don't worry, I'll pay for it, okay? When I come to pay the buy price. <laughs> I'll pay extra. I should be leaving, sir. You say something? Oh, okay. Take care. Mm, what are you doing in there? Are you, um, are you... Cooking? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Perfect lover, but deeply in love, bearing the torture for a better future, lost her dignity. What an elder sees sitting down. Even if a child climbs an Iroko tree, he may not see it. So is this your way of telling me I told you so? No. But you know this was bound to happen. It was just a question of time. Do you think Tochi would still believe me if I told him nothing was going on between Kelvin and I? That is just a platonic relationship. Of course, yes. But that is if he's an idiot. So you think I should just confess to him? Oh, now you want my advice? Can't I talk to my mom about something? The same mom you refused to listen to. When I was trying to just... Mom, I know what you told me. 
I do. I don't want to lose Tochi. I don't care if you lose Tochi. As long as Kelvin remains in the picture. Mom, it's not all about money. Being with Kelvin is torture, like his emotional torture. The energy around him is too toxic. Is there anything that you would not say about Kelvin just to make him look like the devil and Tochi the saint? Okay, Mom, look, I'm sorry I came to you for advice, okay? I'll sort this out myself. Go so, ahead and sort yourself I will. out. Can you let you be cool? I just go back from work. Work was fine. Um, I just thought I should let you know I'm back from work. You passed the night at his place? I I plan to go in to supply your home appliances on the last scale. And Kelvin told me to come with some big shots of his that will be my customers when I start. He insisted I come meet them with him. And so you had to pass the night over at his place after the meeting? It was too late for me to come back home. Okay, tell me what happened while you slept over. Do I even have the right to ask that question? Of course you do, Tochi. Of course you do. Look, I, Kelvin is that kind of a guy that wouldn't help except I make him believe I like him as much as he likes me. Look, Ella, I'm really confused right now. Come on, babe, look. You have nothing to be confused about, okay? You don't need to be confused. I love you. And I promise we'll do away with Kelvin as soon as we're financially buoyant to stand on our own. Okay? Guy, you're really thirsty, yo. Oh. oh boy, you just forgot your guy for that side. <coughs> now I'll, I'll not be your guy again. My brother, I'll not be so... Then his work has been really overwhelming. <coughs> Tochi. No, this house big, How many of you come to stay for this house, Adi? Uh, just three. Myself, Ella, and her mother. But none of them are at home right now. I see. How are you? <laughs> My guy, just me. How far does your pregnant babes? My guy, forget that one, Joe. See, the way it stands now, like this, I didn't even plan to run away from them. Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> why? Don't kill me now. Not the one who goes to the bacon. We said they will give me one problem or the other every day. <laughs> Bro, I don't pity you at all. You laid your bed, so you should lie on it. See, uh, don't you, my brother? Eh? I didn't think, see, maybe I'll come here, come hide my head. At least, just for a little time. Is that a joke? What is this stupid thing now? Oh, go back, please, stop her. You think I'm happy or proud to be here? I can't even wait to leave this place. See, uh, don't you? If I go see babe, girlfriend will be saying, if you accommodate me for a place like this, my guy, I, I don't mind you. Oh, yeah, I'm just moving. Well, that's you, not me. Um, my guy, see, uh, I don't know whether I go fit to collect some things from inside the kitchen. My car, I'm going my too angry bed. At least me, they just don't want to take such things. Wait, wait. You want me to steal foodstuffs from the kitchen to give to you? I, I, I don't see me you steal. I see me you take small. Oh, I beg you, stop her. Stop her. Oh. 
I'll send you some money once I get my first salary. <laughs> if I will still be alive, I don't know. Because the trouble I face every day in that house, my brother, is killing. <laughs> but now you bring them on top of yourself. Now. You brought it upon yourself. Why are they doing that time? Why you know me? Me, I don't hold you. If you tell me now, Ugo, will you lock... <laughs> you lock me outside. See, make me not even go into that case right now. I know hold you. But you know. Do you see my guy? Oh, so you like woman where where now? You want to come father of nations? So now you stay now. See the world. Don't do. You don't come big man like this. Let's go. See my boys, babe. You know the beautiful thing about supporting my you. The beautiful thing is you get to be happy every single weekend because we win all the time. Can well, we watch something else? Babe, we're we are not watching Z World right now. Oh my god. Okay? We're watching Dehia do work. Okay. We're watching Bruno do work. <laughs> you see that? <clears throat> babe, what would you say if I asked you to move in with me? <laughs> Why would you ask me to move in with you? Aside the fact that you're my girlfriend. That's not enough reason. Hey, listen. Okay, we need to spend more time together. We need to understand each other better. You know, we need to... You need to learn how to obey my instructions. I mean, that's a very important thing if this is going to go long term, you know, like we all wanted to, but kind of have to obey a lot more. Calvin, I'm not moving in with you. <coughs> Babe, you know a lot of girls will jump at that opportunity. Oh my god. No, 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 I'm being honest with you. Like, majority, like 99.9%, .9 probably 100%, I'm just trying to be humble, will jump at that opportunity. But I'm not a lot of girls. <sighs> Babe, <laughs> why are you resisting my plans to take us to the next level? Because you offered me a living lover arrangement. Oh, please, Kelvin. That's not happening, okay? I'm not moving in here. What do you want? Huh? No, let's... Okay. <clears throat> you want me to propose? Is that what you want? All right, babe, listen. Tomorrow morning, in the morning, we go to the ring store. The most expensive one in town. You pick any ring you want there. I pay for it, okay? And not just that, I go down on one knee in the store and propose to you. I am not asking you to propose to me. So what do you want? I <clears throat> don't want to move in with you. Respect that, okay? Drop the topic. Let's talk about some other thing. You know, watch Manu, please. That. Uh, who is knocking? Hey, it's like you're busy. Kelvin. Hmm? Good afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon, how are you? Um, I'm, 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 I'm fine. Uh, please tell Ella I'm here. Oh, Ella is not home. Where did she go to? Okay, um, she went to see some people for a job opportunity, yes. She what? Uh, she went to see who? You didn't call She's her. She's job hunting? Eh? You didn't call her before coming? Do I have to call her? See, yeah. So now I have to make an announcement now before I come and see my... This is ridiculous. She's... Hello? Ella, where are you? That is a very stupid answer, young lady. Of course you're not home. I know you're not home. The question is where exactly are you? Why are you hell-bent on embarrassing me? How can you be going around town looking for a job? Do you know how that makes me look? Huh? I give you more than enough money to sit your behind down at home. Now I'll give you 20 minutes, okay? 20 minutes for you to return home. I have time to start it though. Get back now. Calm down, Don't Kevin. tell me to calm down. What, what do you mean calm down? Excuse me, I'm talking nonsense. When you open your mouth, you should tell your daughter to, to, to stop getting on my nerves. Every time she gets on my nerves, constantly. What's that about? 
Why exactly are you angry? Is it because you didn't meet her at home or because she went job hunting? Both! Okay? What is going on? She should call me or at the very least text me. Or call and tell me where she's going, when she'll be back, how long and why she's going out. Eh? And she shouldn't be job hunting. What's that about? Thought I give you guys money. Thought I give you money. Thought I give her money. Why is she job hunting? Kelvin, what I am trying to say. I don't that care what you're trying to say. I don't care. Nonsense. What you should be saying is telling your daughter to give me the respect that I deserve. And tell her when she gets back, she should report to my house and explain herself. And she turn the AC on every once in a while. I pay for never here. What? What's 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 all this about? Eh? It's too hot here. Ah. Hey. Eh? She make me. Ella. If I want chance. In what? Bam 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 bam. Chukwajo. Gini! Oh. Good evening, boss. It's you. Yes, sir. I thought it was your cousin. Oh, no, sir, it's me. I came with the documents you asked for. Yeah, your cousin is testing my patience, okay? She has no right whatsoever to disrespect me. No right! What happened to her? I went to her place, okay? I asked where she was. They told me that she went job hunting. I provide for her excessively as my girlfriend and she's job hunting. What does that say about me? I called her immediately and instructed her to return home. I sent her another message to come to my place and explain herself. That was four hours ago. Can you imagine? Four hours ago, and she hasn't called to tell me why she's not here or when she's getting here. What's that about? I'm sorry, sir. Would you take that? Would your girl, could your girl do that to you? So why can't she do it to me? Uh, sir, please, don't, don't be offended. Once I get home, I'll talk to her. Hey, tell her that she would hate the consequences if she does not get here as you started today. You believe? All right, sir. This is ridiculous. I've been waiting on her all day. I hope it's complete. Yes, sir, it is. Hmm. You needed to see how he was shouting at me. <laughs> Just because I was telling him to calm down. Mom, I'm happy ah. you can see how eccentric and overly egoistic he is. I told you. <laughs> Why was he so angry that you went job hunting? Because he knows the hold he has over me is money. If I get a job, he won't have hold over me anymore. Hey! Bam, 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 bam. Hi! Hello, hi. Um, hi, Touch. Touch. It's okay. Come inside. In a shift. Come inside. Oh, yeah. Sit down. Let me go and attend to what I'm cooking in the kitchen. I'm fine, man. Sit yeah. down, Olan. Sit down. <laughs> Don't worry, man. So you wanted to talk. So you can uh, talk very well. I'm eh? okay, man. Thank you. Ne. I'm mm -hmm. So how's your day? I've got good news and bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Um, good news. You know, I never stopped submitting my CV for job opportunities after you helped me secure a job with Kelvin. Okay. Well, yesterday one of the companies called. I picked up my appointment letter today. An oil servicing firm? Mm-hmm. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. This is huge. And you know, aside from the official car and the house, there are so many fringe benefits attached to the job. Wow. Congratulations, Tochi. Thank so you. you've resigned working for Kelvin then? Uh, not yet. I just thought it appropriate for me to share the news with you first. This is huge. Congratulations. Thank you. So, the bad news. We can no longer be together. I know that Kelvin is not the friend or the admirer that you claim. 
Are you breaking up with me? Emanuela, you cannot eat your cake and have it. You want Kelvin for his money, and you want me for your emotional needs? Tuchi, look, I, I, I had to do what I had to do. Same way you, you had to do what you had to do, working for Kelvin, even though you know the truth. Look, Ella, I am sorry. I am grateful for everything you've done for me. I am truly grateful. But I am sorry I cannot live with the fact that you two timed me like that. I was just trying to help. I wish you good luck with Kelvin. I'll be moving out of the house by weekend. Ah! Ooh! Look who finally came back to her senses. Huh? So it took you four days to realize how stupid you've been. Huh? You keep taking me for granted. Despite how financially valuable I am to you and your family. You know, sometimes I sit back and shut I think... Shut up! Kelvin, shut up! What did you just say? I said shut up! You heard me! Shut that stinking mouth of yours. Shut it. Look, I did not come here for you to take away the little that is left of my self-esteem and self-worth. Ella, you're talking to me I like... I said shut up. I am not done talking to you. You were so manipulative, possessive, controlling and eccentric and annoyingly egoistic. I am done with you. I am done with whatever this is. I am done. You're okay? done? Yes. You're done. I am done with this mental and, and emotional abuse. I am done with this situation. It's over. Are you over. Sure? Are you sure? Very sure. You're sure about that? Because the way I see it, it's you and your wretched widowed mother that can survive without me. Okay? I practically pay for everything. I keep the lights on in that house. I put the food in your fridge and your store. How will you survive without me? Huh? I would have said you should go to hell. <laughs> but hell is too good for your type. You deserve a more befitting bottomless pit. That's where you belong. Ella, you're going to regret this. You shouldn't have gone to break up with Kelvin. Not after Tochi just broke up with you. Eh? After everything that you did for him, he just walked away like that. I was tired of dealing with Kelvin's mental torture and slavery. I, I was losing my mind. I just couldn't continue dealing with it. Well, it's okay. Only we will be fine. All right? It's okay. Thank you. 
Hi, Ella. What are you doing here? Did you forget something? I heard you broke up with Kelvin. Yes, I did, but I don't remember sending anyone on an errand to tell you that. He told me himself. You know, he still thinks we are cousins. He couldn't stop ranting about how ungrateful you and our entire family have been. Okay, so what, ex what exactly are you here for? Ella, you are the love of my life. You know how much I love you. You are my soulmate. And yet you broke up with me at the slightest grip you had to a comfortable life, without thinking twice. That's because I wanted you to break free from Kelvin's entanglement, even though it didn't seem convenient. I wanted you to return to the person of integrity and good character that I know. Why are we having this conversation? Why are you telling me all of this? Ella, I won a chance to fulfill all the promises that I made to you. I want to make you the happiest woman on earth. Are you saying you... you want us back together? I never left. I've just been secretly hoping and praying that you would end things with Kelvin on your own. Would you marry me? What if I say I needed time to think about it? Think about what, Ella? Hmm? Think about what, Ella? What do you want to think about? Bianwa, it's like the village people from your father's side, they are tampering with your brain. Kevi Choiche. Come on, mom. Can't you allow a young girl to do Shakara? Eh? Oh, Shakara? What? Summarize the Shakara says. I was only messing with him. Of oh, course, yes, Tochi. I will marry you. In <laughs> Shakara, you want to do Hey! Yes, I'll marry you. Of course, I'll marry you. It's caused a huge celebration. I'm going to make serious onubu soup with goat meat and plenty of oboroka and ogiri. People should continue. I'm coming. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Oh, my God, please. Thank you. <laughs> Lost her dignity and lost her pride. Lost her dignity for comfort. Lost her dignity and lost her pride. Lost her dignity for comfort. You can't score.